Okay, hello everybody. I know it's taking a while. I thought I read the instructions really well. I knew what I was doing, but obviously not. So if you're following at home, this is my, I'm putting together the, the Mark Kit by Tinkergen. This is my series of build videos. I'm getting really close now. I'm starting to figure out the nuances of this kit. So if you're following at home, just connect that up to the sonic sensor to the board. From there to there. Oops, oh, sorry. From there to there to D6. Now we're going to try to figure out the line uh, line falling sensor. So we're not going to install the electromagnetic magnet this time. I think that gets your compass headings. So if you want to drive it around using a compass. All these connectors, maybe they're not. Maybe they're different sizes. Yeah, they're different lengths it looks like. Short, yeah, short ones. You want to use the long one, 10 centimeters. Oh. Okay, 10 centimeters, 10 centimeter one. Hope you can see that. So there's a couple 10 centimeter ones and a really long one. So we're gonna mount. Carefully mount this. Like so. Gonna do the risers again. I haven't figured out a good way to do those yet. Ah, I had it lined up. Those risers are pain. I haven't figured out a good way to do them yet. They just keep wanting to fall out. Get them started and then tighten them. I like to alternate back and forth. Hopefully I haven't messed up the camera. Okay. Of course, that popped out in the process.
It says connect to any digital connector. I'm just going to connect it to uh, D8. Okay. Like so. Comes out from below, connects to D8. So that's page 21. Let's see if we can get done here. We're so we're so close. The roller, two screws. Phillips, get get him started ah. so tighten one a little bit tighten the other one a little bit Looks like I got that done. Now, almost done here, it looks like. I'm on page 22 if you're following. So that was the roller. Now the wheels themselves, they also keyed. So this shouldn't be too hard. Like I said, it shouldn't be too hard. Get a little extra light. Kind of wiggle them a little bit. They shouldn't, you shouldn't have to force them in there really hard. If you're putting a lot of effort into forcing them in there, you probably got them wrong. I'm not going to put the batteries in yet. There's a button. I need to figure out how that button works. It might be like the electromagnet. Maybe I just uh, missed it. So saying put the batteries in. We're not going to put the batteries in yet. Oh, there's little magnets. It looks like it's a little magnets. Magnet here, metal strip here, and then here, here. So it should just uh, 
not slack. What's the word I'm looking for? She just clamp down. Trying to get everything out of the way. like there's that wires in the way it's a servo wire Yeah, you can feel the magnets. Yeah, you can feel the magnet when it kind of. So it's it's the cover is held on by two magnets, like I'm showing. So you just kind of play around with it until you latches in. So that wasn't too bad. I probably took longer than I should have on this. It's really not too bad. The only issue I was finding was. Because the everything's in black on the instructions, maybe just me and my poor eyesight, but sometimes it was hard to see because the uh, everything is black like that. It's hard to see where all the screws and everything mounts into it. So basically that's the build process. Like I said, I'm not sure where the button goes. Did I just miss it? Let me check it again here. So the button can be connected in any way in any one of the digital connectors, etc. D6 on the uh, on the board to work as a digital input. The pin connected D6 connected to digital high or digital one. When the button is pressed and it's digital low or digital zero and then released. So it's just kind of option. I thought maybe like an on and off switch, but it's like the electromagnet, something you can add or not, not have. So you can see the, uh, I can't decide to get involved in the video there, sorry. So it maybe it's a possible, I don't know where to mount it. I'll have to play around and see if there's a place to mount it. But I think you're supposed to mount it on front. We got these extra connectors for other groove sensors. Definitely got extra screws. So, not a bad kit. Pretty cool looking, I think. Not a bad little kit. So I need to test it out and then kind of learn how to start programming it. I wonder if there's like a quick start. Add different devices. That's programming, so we'll get into that. We'll get into programming in a different video. Where's my X Acto knife when I need it? Hopefully, I can. Here. That's kind of cool that they include the batteries. You can see my cat, she's staring at me. She doesn't know what I'm doing. She's trying to help. She's off camera right now. Shadow, can you say hi? 
Well. So. Just fascinated by the batteries. Looks like she wants to attack. And this is kind of boring. What should we do? Unwrap batteries. I could do this really quickly. And try to turn it on. Yeah, I'm wondering if rechargeable batteries or upgrade to some kind of uh, what nine volt? Yeah, I think it's nine volt here. Um, any correctly? Or at least that's a upgrade option. Yeah, nine volts. I wonder if there's a way to turn it on, just to see what happens. Yeah, here in the back. See how badly I messed up. screen doesn't look good. A little worried about the screen. And what if I messed up the cable? Oh. Oh, there we go. I did mess up the cable. Can you see my cat? On the screen she's not very happy she does not like to be on camera she's running away she knows when she's on camera it's funny so there's a pre installed program already in there and it's doing some kind of image I was kind of hoping the sonic sensor would kick in and stop it from moving Maybe I did something wrong with the sonic sensor. So there's a default program already logged uh, uh, in there. Some kind of vision tracking, something going on. Let's try a quick test. Let's see if we can find, see there's the cat. What I'm trying to do is I've, here. It's saying, it's saying the stop sign. I know it's hard to see. Okay.
So the basic program is in there. I just need to play around a little bit, see what's going on. <clears throat> I was kind of hoping to get it to stop and start. But it does, the camera is doing some processing on there. And so the next video will be on how to program it and maybe do some line falling and so on with it. But I'm pretty happy with it so far. Not a bad kit. I like the design, the layout. The instructions are pretty good. Uh, so just uh, when you're putting it together, make sure you uh, read the instructions and check them out and maybe kind of test them a little bit before you do the final put together. But so this is the final build, uh, uh, build video for the Mark Make a Robot Kit from Tinkergen. Uh, so cool. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions, uh, complaints, uh, put them in the comments of the video. Uh, if you have any questions about the kit, be happy to try to answer for you. If you get one and you get stuck, I'll try to help you out. So like I said, I'm going to dive into programming how to use the robot. So the biggest issues I was having was putting the, uh, connecting the LED to the board uh, for the camera. I'm sorry, connecting the camera to the board. So remember, flip it up. Don't push it in. Flip it up and then flip it down to lock it into position. Just try to be careful with the cable. Not bend it too much. So, cool. Thanks for watching. Hope you see you in the next video.